starting with like like fruits and vegetables, what would you recommend that would be okay to feed to your dog? Well, I, I'm going to cover a ton of them. Um, there's cantaloupe, mango, apples, blueberries, tomatoes in a certain amount. Squashes are fantastic. Pumpkin is really fantastic, especially mm-hmm. when dogs have digestive upset. Yeah. Um, I also like people to think about ginger, um, spinach. And, I mean, getting a dog to eat um, a piece of raw spinach is probably not going to happen. <laughs> but um, you can definitely cook it, add it into something, um, add it into the bowl after it's been cooked, and they'll probably just keep on eating. Um, peas are really difficult, so I wouldn't recommend peas. But especially I try to, in the in chow, I also talk to people about, like, when they should buy certain foods that are organic. Apples are really high in oxidants, just like blueberries, but they have to be fed with the skin because most of the stuff is right underneath that skin or in the skin. And you want to buy organic in some choices because otherwise you're giving your dog lots of pesticides. The dirty dozen. Yeah, the dirty dozen. So, I mean... Apples are, apples are actually the worst, but they're actually one of the best things if you feed them when they're organic. But if you're talking about, like, giving your dog, like, potatoes or apples, carrots, you know, broccoli, cauliflower, you know, kale, whatever, um, like, how much do you give? Well, like, that's, is it as a so treat? It, that's different for every size dog. And so one of the things that's always really important to me for whenever I talk about food, or whether it's a recipe or just an ingredient, I'm always t- saying, like, here's some reasonable size amounts that are going to provide some benefits, but also not ca- cause digestive upset. And... For, and I give it for a 10, 20, 40, 60, and 80 pound dog on everything that I do. Um, and I think we in this book, we actually went up to 100 as well. Mm-hmm. It definitely does matter. Um, fruits and vegetables, low in calories. They're not really going to put you over budget on the calories. But they can, if they're in excess, you know, and they're new to dogs, they can cause some issues. And I don't want to do that to your carpet. So I'm always saying start with teaspoons and tablespoons, not cups and handfuls. 